Hey folks, it's your favorite 98 percenter on YouTube, Mike the Disgruntled Mechanic. How do you like the shirt? Finally, to go with my SMA sticker. Okay, enough of that. Today what we have is we have a 1997 Buick LeSabre that needs the body frame mounts put on it. But uh, we have to put those on. Um, <clears throat> I'll show you when I'm under there. Um, when it was going to be inspected, uh, found that part of the part of it's gone um, and it needs replaced. So let's uh, go under there. We'll take a look at it. I'll show you the replacement parts, and we'll go from there today. I want to show you what the old ones look like here. Here's a complete one with your rubber pieces in it and your bottom metal piece on it and the bolt going up through. If you come over here and look at the next one and I'll try and look up underneath there. It won't be any light but now well, that one you can't see. The uh, metal part on the bottom this part is gone. So it certainly needs replaced. Uh, this here one has the metal bottom, but if you look at that rubber, she looks a little angry up there. Don't look too good, so that one needs replaced. This here one, missing the bottom, and the rubber looks pretty good. So with this, luckily you get new bolts and everything else. Um, I'm, I'm only going to, I learned my lesson I hope on the last one, I'm going to be very careful how far I let this drop to try and get these out. Looks like you shouldn't have to let it drop too much. That one I have the bolt loose on already, and you can see how low down it is. Um, I'll get my jack and put in there so they keep pressure on it, then I can bring it down slowly. But um, yeah, that's what we got to do get these out and get them back up in. And as you can see, you know, they've, they were really rusty, and um, up in the frame here, you won't be able to probably see it, but there's a nut that this bolt goes into. And it's probably only spot welded on there, I'm not sure. But you've got to be really careful because you could break that, then you have to get a wrench in there and all that. I sprayed the living piss out of this with croil before I started loosening them even and left it work. So I have, hopefully, I had all of them loose and moving. So I hope that that will uh, continue and they'll come out. I'm thinking even though I had them loose, well, that should have worked in. We'll try it without it, but I would certainly recommend doing that when you do it because of the rust and the way that this is put together. This seems to be a common failure point on these from what I've read, so I shouldn't have been surprised. But here is the assembly, the full assembly to go back in. And here are your pieces to it. That, that, you can see that is oval shaped so you know you're of course you're gonna have to have your oval lined up with that when you put that on but one of the problems is this bolt isn't long enough for you to get up through and get up into that nut to be able to squeeze this all together so my next thing is I'm going to try and find or decide some way or a longer bolt or see if I have something that I can sort of you know squeeze each one of these together as they go in there because uh, I'm not sure how other people do it I've never done this before but I do know that they tell you you shouldn't really use any lubes that's not called for or anything like that we'll probably just go with this and try and get a longer bolt so we can squeeze it together so I think I'll change these one at a time see how that goes um, I've, I've never done one of these before this is all new to me so now well, come on along and We'll see how I make out. I decided to do is try and see if I can take two of these bolts, make a long one to help collapse this, because uh, it's um, it's an odd, it's a millimeter thread. So, but there you can see how rusted away that bolt is. I'm gonna try and make something out of these to get that up in there. So I'm just gonna take this one out and the other, uh, whatever you want to call it, inside one or. Uh, closest one there. Um, I'm going to take that out and try and make something so that I can collapse this up 
maybe I'll try and get one in there before I do that but from what I've heard that you know they just won't collapse together so um, let me take one out I'll loosen I'll loosen all of them let this down a little bit to pull this out and uh, I guess I don't have to there but I am going to loosen it down uh, uh, I am going to loosen it to get the other one out so but I am going to loosen all the bolts to drop this down to be able to hopefully get this in a little bit easier but then we'll give it a try with the bolt and just see how much we're off and we'll go from there Need just a little bit more. <clears throat> it's just a matter of lining this up now, so I'm going to work on that, and then when I get it lined up, I'll be back. After messing around with this for a while and not being able to compress that bottom rubber, what I did was they sent, I got new bolts. So I took two of the old bolts, welded it together. Yeah, I know I didn't get it straight, but it's working. Using some bigger size nuts to get that rubber pushed up on there. And it appears that it worked. So that's all I did was put that up there. I lined it up. I got a big screwdriver out, so I lined the hole up, started that in there, pushed that rubber on nice, like I said. You saw that oval that I showed you. Make sure your oval's lined up, and right up it goes. So we'll come over here, and uh, we'll try and do the other side, and I'll film that to see how that works. I'll have to let this down some. I'm going to try and put my bolt in here with this as loose as I can, and hope this will come out with holding this in, because, of course, I don't want this to come back down, but even if it does come back down, if I have to take the bolt out and it does come back down some, it'll be pretty easy to line them both up. I mean, it's not the end of the world. That's probably what I'll do on the other side is take them both out at the same time and get them lined up. But I just wanted to try one just to see how this would work. So there it is, the homemade tool. I didn't go tool binge and buy another tool, took my welder and went to work. There you go. All right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to drive that up on there more because hell, the bolt goes all the way in there before it does it, so there's no way that you know this will fit on. So let me see if I can get that rubber up on there a little bit more. Now that worked. Um, I don't know if I'll be able to see it, if you'll be able to see it or not. But basically, what I did was took that tool, drove it up, drove this up. This one's out. I'm gonna leave this as loose as possible and drop my 
subframe down here and see if I can get these out. Where are the All right, they're on there pretty good, so let me see if I can pop that out. So what I found out is this part's metal, so the metal was actually stuck up in there. I just took the chisel and tapped it. Now we gotta uh, just clean it up with the scraper here a bit, and then we'll put this back together. So we got this cleaned up. I don't know if we're down far enough, but try and drop this one in there. Nope. Has to go more. May have to take this one back out because it's not coming down far enough. Oh, it's not much. There we go. Oh, because that one's recessed. All right. We'll do the same thing here. Make sure this is lined up. Oh, the outside ones are easier. You don't have all the. You don't have to sort of go all the way up in there. You just got that right there. That makes life a little easier. Make sure that's lined up. Like I said, I'm going to look again. I have a hard time looking up in there, but I can feel that it's it's where it should be. Sometimes you just gotta use the feel, you know.
I don't like doing voiceover, but I don't have a choice here because I have music playing in the background and I had to actually talk over that. Uh, what I did in the last frame was I dropped the bolt out that had my contraption on it with the nut setup and everything. Then I took the stock bolt, put it up, and tightened that up. That was where the last frame ended. Then somehow I lost some footage here because I know I had footage, I thought I had footage of me putting the body mounts on this side, but as you can see, they're already in. They go in the same exact way, but I have them in. So what I'm doing here is I'm actually tightening them up and bringing them to the tightness that they should be. The specs on them is 66 foot pounds, and I thought, I know I showed that because that had my nice snap on torque wrench, and anybody that knows me knows any chance that I'd get to be able to show that. I would have showed that on video. So somehow I lost that. But here's what it is. We tighten these up by hand and then took the impact to help take them up and then torque them to the appropriate 66 foot pounds, all four of them. So that is actually what I'm doing here and what was happening here. Okay, folks, that job took long enough. I started out with coffee, and I'm ready for beer. That completes the putting the body mount rubbers in there on a 97 Buick LeSabre. Um, I'll tell you a couple tips. It was a good thing, I feel. I don't. Uh, there's maybe another way to do it, but with me making that uh, tool putting those bolts together that worked pretty well Drink. good stuff so anyhow that's one thing and then the other thing is um, that I found out with these and uh, where where those uh, body mounts mount the hole they go in especially on these Buicks, they have a tendency to rot that hole out and rot that part of the subframe frame out and you have to watch for that because if you have that you either I guess you can get them repaired possibly or you have to put the new subframe on so it's some things to watch out for but with uh, saying that the job's done she's back together I have another project I'm going to have to do on this. It needs an inner tie rod, so I'll be putting that on. That'll be another video. But once again, this is your favorite. 98% are on YouTube, Mike the Disgruntled Mechanic saying. Just remember, if you can get somebody else to do it, you're probably better off. Thanks for watching, folks. Thumbs up. Subscribe. Until next time, thanks.